this other Javante versus Frank Martin. Apparently, he knocked this out of some like that. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, this is the highlights. Pound tight. Oh, okay. jab three. Keep it up for 12 rounds. Not just keep it up or get the respect of 10 years ago where Martin allegedly landed a, a left in these two, but a little grappling, not much else is at the end of two. Oh. Now, apparently, the, the tail of the tape was that early on, um, Javante allowed to just punch on him because he was trying to figure him out and tire him up. And then later on, you know, Javante, which I got to give Javante Davis a lot of credit. I think he's a pretty good enough boxer. Like, he could really outbox people. Not only that, he also has some, like, ungodly power. That he's he hit Ryan Garcia. That nigga started, like, fucking thinking in thinking he needed a, a a lung transplant or a kidney transplant. Like, he's he got, like, he got some type of power, right? And apparently he did it to this Frank Martin nigga, too. Like, you know what I mean? Everything was good until, like, uh like one of the later rounds. He just knocked that nigga out. Martin immediately taking those rounds and anyone. But he's short and small. He's smaller than these guys. Like, how the fuck does he have that much power? Is it, like, the, the torque in the hip type shit or... Yo, is that Napoleon complex? I think. Two, three, back to the jab. Hey. Moving to the side, not okay, okay. edge for Martin. Harvey Dog separates them. You're a short nigga, like, bro, like, how does he have that much power? The right thing to do. See explosive counters. Now, I thought this Frank Martin nigga was a bum, but then niggas told me, like, this nigga was undefeated too. I didn't know. Left oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You could tell. One thing about Javante Davis, he's mad fearless, bro. He's walking niggas down. Yo, niggas got to start lifting weights or something. Like, how, how is this short midget, like, this fucking strong? You like this? It's just... Look. There are those left hands. Half and landing okay. on that 49 total punches compared to Tank. At the right time, he's timing that jab, bro. Now, what people told me is that this guy was winning the fight till Tank knocked him out. Which I'm like, what the fuck? If if everybody's going to fights with this guy Tank, knowing that he has knockout power, and you probably don't, and you could outbox him in terms of winning on the cards, why don't you just keep your fucking distance the entire time, keep dancing, and hopefully you win the thing if you can't knock him out, but he can knock you out. Anyway. There's downstairs, nice. missing with the sweeping Martin in front of him, trying to cut. That's another thing I think is on rate. Uh, um, um, like it, people don't really give Tank credit for. He takes some damage, or he takes punches. It's just like he makes them niggas' punches look like his pillows. When he hit a nigga, it looked like he hit a nigga with. He looked like he's hitting a nigga with a sledgehammer. Off the ring, Martin with the. Look, he's doing the right thing. So. With a jab of hands uh, for Martin. Nice. Oh, okay, let's keep going. All these rounds, you hear me Tank to the okay. right uppercut, fainted, and here's the jab straight. Oh, okay, that happened? Oh, I ain't see that. Is this a knockout? Here we go. With a jab of... Uh, Hands for Martin. Nice straight left hook. And it was a solid one. Nice lead the left. best ever connect percentage against Tank Davis. Oh, shit. One sub round of fear. And Tank lands it. Leo Santa Cruz, but D Davis not to walk in uncontested. Houdini out of that corner. I'm not personally not respecting that power from Martin and getting in. to get back on the jab. Oh, there's the jab and the left ball left here in the first half of the fight. Of the offense of Frank Martin and missing with favorite and best knockout was the 2020. Not cruise worthy. The two fighters that really, really bring it to him. And, and again, Martin is doing what Martin said. I believe that based on what we've seen, Martin. So how is this short nigga just violating everybody like that? With that, although Tank is having his best round. So pick it up. We're heading into the. That listen, we need all these rounds. You hear me say? Tank. There, the little slip and a little. He fainted. Okay. Game plan is. Now I think this is the last round right here. When niggas punch Tank, it feels like. Yo, I hate when these niggas is like, bro, you not doing no fucking damage. Stop with the sound effects, nigga. Fucking do some work. Had success with his footwork. The jab is in the second half of these fights. He doesn't want to give anything to uh, Davis, but again, he Martin just avoiding that counter. But now Look. Martin has to keep him busy. Oh, there's a left hand in the mouth, but 
Martin doing the veteran thing when Davis is a danger zone. About to end. Don't worry. By Martin, though. Doing exactly what he's supposed to. Here's the thing that left hand with a left uppercut like that. Oh, nigga doing sound effects. <laughs> Bro, shut the fuck up, nigga. Knock him out. <laughs> left from Davis. Now Davis chopping yeah. shots. Yeah. He's, he's looking for double well. jet. By the way, isn't Davis like left handed? Maybe it's a thing about that. He be getting like different angles. No, did he? Martin against the ropes. Trying to use center of the ring again. There's the exit. Mm. Oh, wow. Standing in front of Davis. Oh, Davis misses with the lead left up and ah. retreat on the back foot. But Martin on it. Lead here in terms of total punches. And you covered up well. Oh, oh. counter left foot. It begins. Oh, that left hand. Damn. Damn. And it's those body shots that are doing damage. Mm. That's what's dropped after that. Yeah, body and it opened up and wow. with seven body shots. That's, this is definitely the last one. Is closing. Here we go. And Davis double left. He needs Damn. to be a little bit more Damn. busy as he one is right now. When, when this thing is hitting Tank, it feel like he's just hitting that nigga with like, a, it's like a pillow fight. Tank hit him and looked like, yo, it's fucking discombobulating his brain. They bow. Davis and another jab countered by Martin. The safest keep place for him. That was a low blow right on. Minutes left in the eighth. He hasn't right. seen body work from. Oh my God! Oh, left up the jaw. Down. Six, seven reps. Ten stop. Okay. I hate this fucking angle because you can't see shit. I just want to see the the fucking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not that nigga out, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, what I realized about Tank, uh, like, because one time I think he low key dissed me one time on, on social media, and I always, I, I got a memory of an elephant. I don't like nobody who dissed me. But I do gotta admit, man, this nigga's the best. <laughs> Yo, this thing, he, he's definitely in the, that, 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 um, classic argument, or not classic. By the way, he only dissed me. I think it was something with 6ix9ine. Because everyone was linking me with 6ix9ine. He, he was mad at me for whatever reason. Who cares? Anyway. Low key, I think this guy's just legendary, bro. I don't know how he has this much power. He's a fucking midget. He's he, he kind of looks scrawny, but nigga, he is hitting with a fucking fist that looks like it is doing immense amount of damage. I gotta give this nigga credit, man. Tank is one of the greatest ever. Um, I seen there's some other couple niggas. Yo, yo. I seen Floyd or whoever who leaked this shit. What do you call it again? So apparently Floyd leaked um the full sparring footage to kind of show that um nah tank is human. Look at him getting beat up by Devin Haney. Um, let me see if I can find it. So before this footage wasn't like fully leaked, so they finally leaked this where this is supposedly a 16-year-old Devin Haney, a 20-year-old Tank, and Floyd in the ring coaching Devin Haney, who's 16. So Floyd is like literally coaching this kid, which is Devin Haney, on how to kind of get at Tank. In this, it looks like he's putting in some work to tank. Now, the reason why that that um, Tank said that Floyd is bitter, because, you know, people actually believe that Floyd wants to be a trainer or is a trainer or does have like this. Uh, promotion group, you know, uh, money team or whatever, but he don't want nobody to be greater than him. So it's like, yeah, you could be under my team as long as you're not even approaching or interfering with my legacy. Um, that might be actually true. <laughs> because if, if Floyd leaked this video of supposedly Devin Haney getting the better of Tank 
after Tank just won is like, uh, that kind of sound a little bit haterish. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Yo, Devin Haney, and there's some other nigga named um, Shakur Stevenson. I suggest neither y'all fight Tank. He gonna give y'all brain damage. That nigga is hitting. When I see y'all box, nigga, if you can beat Ryan Garcia, I'm talking to Devin Haney, I don't care if he was on steroids or not. This nigga is hitting like he got brass knuckles, nigga. You don't want to fight Tank, okay? Tank would give you brain damage. So I uh, don't even fight him. And Ryan Garcia, we don't want to see a rematch. I think that he will give you a reason to get a lung transfer. We don't want to see that. We don't care if he, even if you on steroids. And Shakur Stevenson, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that nigga would, he would beat the shit out of you. That nigga, you would regret even being in that video with motherfucking um, J Prince talking about y'all got uh, uh, um, young boys keys and shit like that. I don't think none of y'all want no parts of, of Tank. If I'm y'all, I duck this nigga until he retires. This nigga is a spawn from the devil. He's from hell itself. The way he's punching, he's punching like he's trying to send y'all into another dimension. And Devin Haney, trust me, nigga, I seen you with a broken jaw to a nigga who's a TikTok fighter. No disrespect to my man, uh, um, Ryan Garcia, but you ain't that, bro. Let's keep it a beat. We so, you got punished. By Tank. We don't want to see that again. If you lost to that nigga even on steroids, this nigga more than on steroids, nigga. I think this nigga is on like voodoo. Somebody from Haiti or whatever the fuck you want to call it is basically empowering this nigga to be hitting with a type of fist. It just don't make sense. None of y'all niggas want parts of this nigga. You know who I think y'all niggas should fight? I'm going to just keep it a being with y'all. Devin Haney. Don't fight this guy. He's, I think he's going to put you in a wheelchair. Don't do it. Ryan Garcia, if you ever fight him again, I think he's going to put you in a mental institution. And Shakur Stevenson, if you fight him, I think that nigga might put you literally in a cast. Let's not do it. Who y'all should fight, I'm going to tell y'all who y'all should fight right now. Let me scroll down, I'm going to find him. This is the person who they should fight. It's only one person y'all should fight. Y'all can't handle Tank. Trust me. Like, Tank, not... Y'all yeah, gotta fight him. This guy right here. This guy right here. He's, like, at this point, Adrian Broner is basically telling y'all he should bring a gun in the ring. He ain't showing up with the hands. He's showing up with a Glock. Okay? Fight this guy. Okay? If y'all fight him, y'all might get what y'all want. Y'all might get the better result. Okay? Some shit like this. Jab it away. Oh. Down goes Broder. Tank right now. Unless you are steroids and got brass knuckles and a different type of glove, don't fight that nigga, bro. Okay? I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Like, Tank is a different fucking monster. And this is coming from a nigga who, as I said, I think he had said something to me once on social media, and I remembered it for life. So don't worry. But the way he's beating you niggas, you niggas, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Real talk. Devin Haney, the way how Tank is hitting, you need to kickbox him. You don't need to fight him and box him. You need to kickbox him. Shakur Stevens or whatever your name is, you need to wrestle him. You don't need to do nothing with these fists. I think y'all need to check his hands to see if he got like some fucking, like some, some Oscar Pistorius like, I, I was, I've been thinking about this too, chat. You know them niggas who got the fake limbs, but it's all iron? Like, you know, you know, you know the guy who won, like, the fucking marathon in the Olympics, but he had iron legs? Imagine if a nigga put iron fist in. So he's not hitting you with bones no more. He's hitting you with a fucking iron plated shit. Nigga, you're getting knocked the fuck out. That's what I think Tank got. Because it's no way he's hitting these niggas. Bro, when I seen him hit that nigga, um, what's that nigga name? 
Ryan Garcia and he took a kneel. That nigga took a kneel better than he was. Mo- then um, what's that nigga name? He took a kneel better than uh uh uh. What's that football nigga? What's that football nigga name? Bro, I'm not even glazing, bro. Trust me. I thought there was there was one nigga that I thought was going to beat him. It was a, Actually, I thought the Roly nigga was going. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I was watching. I'm like, bro, I don't think this nigga that impressive. Was it Roly? Bro, I thought this nigga was going to beat him until Tank knocked him the fuck out, nigga. Like, Tank hit him with one shot, and that nigga just. Bro, I was watching the fight, and I'm like, oh, he's getting the better of him. I'm like, oh, shit, he's kind of. He's winning on the cards. But this little nigga got some type of power that you could win all 11 rounds. The 12th round, he's knocking you the fuck out. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm sorry. He's not Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson tried to get you out in the, th- in the first three to four rounds. He could box enough, and he got the power enough. I don't know how. Recklessly so he can land the left hook. And he said, I'm going to take a couple rounds to using the whole ring of boxing. Oh, Bro, he, took- he was, a lot of times, I'm like, oh, he's oh, he's doing this nigga in. A big left hand. He's do- Look, look, look at this. I was like, oh, he's doing this nigga tank in. Bro, I swear I was like, oh, yeah, he's working tank. Tank is done. Even That's not a knockdown, by the way. I'm like, yeah, tank is done. Tank. Well, Romero. Like, by the way, this, this was the guy. He had like some weird ass style. So people were like, whatever. I'm like, oh, he's Thinks working. He can hurt him because he's going. Nigga, the whole time I'm thinking this nigga got tank, bro. After him now. Whole time. And then tank was waiting for the right shot, my nigga. Here's the right shot. It's becoming pretty interesting. The whole time. The whole time. Wow. Nigga, he sat that little nigga down. I don't know what. Nigga, this is one of them knock, knock, knockdowns. I ain't even know what the fuck happened. How, how the hell did nigga get? Bro, I swear that nigga got a weighted glove, bro. This this little midget right here got a weighted glove, bro. I don't know how he's hitting like this, bro. I swear I don't know how he's hitting. Like, Mike Tyson looks stocky. This nigga look like, bro, this nigga look like, my little sister I never had. Like, how the fuck is he hitting like this? Anyway, all right, I'm done with that. <sighs> Yo, chat, we're only three ways, or actually two days, mm, yeah, two days away from Kendrick's concert. Kendrick's concert's happening. We're streaming it. We're going to be streaming it, people. Yo, okay. y'all see this little fish shit? Oh, this is too funny, chat. Let me see if I can pull the whole thing up. Lil Fizz and Jordan Lee. I don't even know who Jordan Lee Brown is. Lil Fizz. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I used this picture of Javante Davis that you're seeing right now on purpose for this one fact. This, like, Frank Martin was probably seeing worse than this after the fight. I, is Javante Davis the face of boxing? Is the main question I want to ask right now. Like, I watched that whole fight beginning to end. Like, the first rounds, when Frank Martin was getting more hits in, he was winning the rounds, technically. But this is how Tank fights, bro. He lets you get on and get off and waste your energy and feel like you're doing something. Like, you gotta really, like, the way to beat Tank, you have to, like, hurt him bad in these first rounds. Like, actually hurt him. Frank Martin has pillow hands, just like Devin Haney. He's not necessarily going to hurt him. But, man, bro. Tank, 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 tank. Like, the way Tank was walking Frank Martin down, bro. <laughs> I like, I was I bet Tank for Naka. I was say, bro, bet Tank for Naka. But I, I, I see now why. I got bad luck. Once we bet Tank for knockout, the next one, he doesn't knock him out. But, um, man. I, I hope all of y'all watch boxing, bro. Because it's a very good sport. And, yeah, and that's basically all I got to say. Tank is amazing, bro. Like, Tank is literally amazing. Like, 
You y'all need to start watching these fights, bro. If you don't watch it already, another good fight to watch back. I watched it back recently too. Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford. That was a good ass fight. But let me know how you guys feel about everything in the comments below. And if you bet on Tank, how much did you make? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I need someone who knows how to pull some parlays and stuff. But it's your boy Big Act News. Make sure you like him, subscribe, and I'm out.